so we got the required gain but if you give a trans sinusoidal signal of a 5 millivolt amplitude so are we getting a large signal at the output or not that we need to see so for that reason i have given the sinusoidal signal with 1 kilohertz frequency and 5 megahertz now if we go to simulate again and uh, edit simulation command so go to transient analysis now now how much stop time we need to give is that depend on the input frequency so input frequency we have given 1 kilohertz so if you convert into time so 1 by 1 kilo is 1 millisecond so for one cycle is 1 millisecond so if we need 5 cycles I will give 5 millisecond if we give 10 millisecond you will get 10 milli. 10 cycles so time to start saving data is generally we give 0 so if you go and you will get the simulation command like this and if you run it say this is the output signal but first we will verify the input one we see input it is up 5 milli and down 5 milli so overall peak is 10 milli now if you see the the output waveform the upper side is it is 600 above and below also 600 above in between so if you take 650 milli or something else so you will get 13 milli 1300 milli volts so if you divide with 10 milli volts it's approximately 130 is the your gain right so this is about when you give a small 1 milli volt signal or something now what happens when you apply a large signal at the input that is so in previously we have taken 5 milli if you increase it to this is suppose 50 milli volts now we will see what will happen if you run again now see this is what we are getting at the output is it's a negative cycle is clipping off so that means when the negative half cycle comes the transistor getting into cutoff mode that's why the negative half cycle it is clipping right so we cannot give as input as we like depending on the gain we need to give the on the output swing so we need to give the input signal as small as possible suppose suppose if gain is 100 and input is 1 milli so 100 into 1 milli is 0 0.1 only so that is in the in our uh, what you call limits only if you give 100 milli 100 milli into 100 you will get how much 10 volts so that is not possible because if you see the circuit diagram so here the vc if you see vc value at the output node so this is clipping of the VC also. See the maximum it can go up to 12 volts. So there is a limit. But in uh, below, if it is reduced to 4 volt or between 4, I mean like 3.5 or something, the transistor may get into saturation region or cutoff mode. So that's why this clipping is happening. So this concept is generally called signal handling capacity so signal handling capacity means the in what is the maximum input signal that we can apply without getting any distortion at the output so so for uh, different different types of circuits it may be 40 millivolts at the input side maximum it may be 100 millivolts at the input side or it may be simply 20 millivolts at the input so depending on that we need to give this input signal right thank you for watching